What is going on you guys, Bastion YJ here and today I'm really really excited to go ahead and bring you guys a bit of a throwback deck because it was the definition of a top tier tier 0 deck back in 2011, 10 years ago, uh, 10 years and 2 months to be exact, in February 2011, this deck got the absolute best support ever and that is a 6 Samurai archetype, is such such an iconic Yu-Gi-Oh archetype I feel like. It's one of the first decks I actually learned how to play when I was coming back into the game for the very first time. And it's one that it has been, I guess, very special to my heart. I want to go ahead and share this with you guys. This is going to be my 2011, February 2007 to be exact. Gateway was at 3. Legendary Six Samurai support had just came out in, I believe, a Storm of Ragnarok. Um, and the, this deck completely took the entire thing by storm. Now, I have three cards in different sleeves right here because I did not have the actual card. Surprisingly, I don't own any mystical space typhoons, <laughs> at least not in, in you know my San Antonio home. So I am going to have to uh, use some substitutes just for this one video, but I want to go ahead and at least bring this to you guys. I was, I was you know going through my cards and I saw my, uh, my old six samurai cards and I got really, really excited. So I want to go ahead and bring this to you guys, a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of, uh, I guess, you know, throwback throwback Saturdays we're gonna go ahead and call it I don't really have a good um, phrase to go with that so we'll well that, that's gonna be in the work um, all right so let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. the extra deck so for the main deck now uh, you guys this deck seems a little bit familiar I actually took a lot of inspiration from Billy Brake uh, who actually is one arguably well without a doubt one of the best duelists in Yu-Gi-Oh history uh, he built this deck called Red and Blue. Basically, you 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 abuse Gateway to Gateway to summon and destroy uh, Mizuho and Shinai over and over and over again. Just gather up a whole bunch of Bushido counters, and essentially you can't lose. Is really the only reason why Six Samurai Gateway of the Six Samurai cannot come back to more than one. Unfortunately, because it's just an endless loop. If your opponent has no way to stop it, let's go ahead and get into the deck profile. I'm really excited for this, guys. So first off, we're going to go ahead and play Triple Kagemusha. Really self-explanatory, just an amazing, amazing card overall. Level 2 tuner, you usually go ahead and go into your 6 Samurai Shien. Also has another effect where if a 6 Samurai monster is targeted for a spell effect, spell trap. Okay, so you can actually make it go ahead and retarget the spell trap effect and go ahead and target this card instead, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, you can go ahead and dodge things, summon in defense, has 1800 attack. Beat stick, no, it will be, uh, not beat stick, big booty <laughs> is what we call it. Next big booty, uh, six samurai is going to be triple kageki, absolutely broken card. I mean, well, broken as they get, right? Uh, best best combo is storm, summon kageki, special summon ka uh, kagemusha. <laughs> um, it's, it's just nostalgia here, it really is where it is. Now, but kageki, when you normal summon him, you can special summon six samurai from your hand, and if you control another six samurai monster, it gains 1500 attack. With a base stat of 200 attack, that 1500 came in clutch. Uh, but it did suck whenever your opponent destroys the only other 6 Samurai monster you control and he goes back down to 200, but it is what it is, it happens. Uh, so start off with these six, of course. Then you can't have a 6 Samurai deck without triple keys on it, at least not one from 2011. Absolutely amazing card. Probably one of the best cards in 6 Samurai overall. Basically, you control another 6 Samurai monster, you special summon it. That's it. You control two or more. Gains attacks. Absolutely nuts. Kizan is, or it was, it still is a very, very good uh, overall monster. Now, this is where the red and blue comes into it. You can play two Mizuho and one Shinai. Uh, basically, you leave one Mizuho on board and you activate uh, Mizuho's effect, pop the Shinai and whatnot while you have two gateways on board and you just keep recycling over and over. Keep special summoning it over and over again using Bushido Counters. You gain more. It's absolutely insane, so I think this, this was definitely the best way to play the deck. Billy Break uh, broke, surprisingly enough, broke six Samurais. And then you play the one uh, Grandmaster as a free special summon, but you can only control one on the field at a time, so that's why, if not, this would probably play at 300%. Um, but it does have really good recursion effect, 2100 beat stick, level 5, can't go wrong. Also, it lets you go into some level 7 synchro, so that's really amazing as well. Let's see, so that's going to be it for the monsters, guys. Next, we go up to the spells. The card that will never come off the ban list. We got triple 
uh, gateway of the six. Now this is when it was an all time peak. I believe in March or April of that same year, they immediately put this card to one because they knew they had messed up. It was absolutely insane. But just the, the, the amount of advantage that gateway of the six gets you is absolutely incredible. There's no better card in my opinion has been printed for a specific archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! history than Gateway of the Six to still even now be at one because of its just incredible, incredible uh, strength overall. So triple Gateway, I'm actually going to go ahead and leave these right here. <laughs> so, so amazing. It's just nice to see them again. Uh, next, you're going to play triple Six Sam United. Basically, you summon two Sams, you get that shit off your board, and you draw two cards. Pretty much part of greed in this deck because summoning two six hands is not hard to do, especially if you got so much consistency. You play triple uh, she and smoke signal, search any level three or lower six hand monster from your deck to your hand. More consistency, you play the one reinforcement of the army, the platinum rare version. So <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about that, but it is what it is. Um, you play reinforcement of the army, you pretty much have to. There's self explanatory there. And so, with all this consistency, there's no way. You there's no way you're losing unless your opponent is playing, you're playing the mirror match. So it's absolutely insane. This is pretty much it for all of our consistency spells. Next, for the three cards that I do not have, so I do not have double MST and one giant true nader, or else of course they would be in here. I do not think Cosmic Cyclone had come out yet, um, but it's still an amazing card to, uh, to, you know, cards to have in your deck. You need the back row hate. Uh, cards like Royal Oppression, uh, you know, the Royal Decree as well was real big in the in that format. Um, I'm trying to think if Skill Drain was, if you know how big a factor that was. But the point is, you need back row hate. The the issue is that Solemn Warning was a card. Solemn Warning was at three. Judgment at one. Uh, I believe Warning had like just came out or something. It's absolutely ridiculous. You need to play double MST, one giant true nade, minimum. If you can play three MST, go for it. Next, you play Triple Book of Moon. <laughs> it's funny to think about Book of Moon being at three, because for the longest time, for almost, uh, for well, for the longest time, it was just at one, because it was just a really good card, and having Book of Moon at three was just really, really cool. Now, of course, we have Book of Moon at three, it's no problem, but having Book of Moon at three back then was absolutely just the nuts. Uh, then you play the one Monster Reborn and the one Dark Coal. Staple cards just absolutely broken back in the day. Monster Reborn is still very, very one, one of the most amazing cards ever printed. Then you play for the traps, gonna be for the spells. Two of the Musakani Magatamas. You need to control six Sam on board, but it's practically another warning. Uh, as long as it act a uh, effect is activated, it destroys cards on the board, so it saves your six Sams. I played two double edged sword technique. It's just good in the grind game if you ever get down to it, but for some reason your red or blue combo doesn't go off. Have that recursion, special summon 2, immediately synchro summon, you, you never really take damage unless you just, I don't know, you get bottomless or something. Uh, it, you know, it happens. Uh, one Judgment, of course, it's at 1 in this format, in that format, uh, currently is at 3. That's great, <laughs> but Judgment was at one back then, so we can only play one. And then you play Triple Warning, of course, why would you not play uh, the second best trap in pretty much the entire format back in the day. So Triple Warning, of course, pretty much get rid of anything. And then for right off the deck, we play the one Mirror Force, because Mirror Force is that broken. So you have to go ahead and make sure it's in your deck. That's going to be it for the main deck, guys. That's 40 card main deck. Uh, it's just really, really cool to go ahead and see these cards again. I want to do some, um, some, I guess, not cross, well, I want to do cross band list duels, but I also want to do some legacy style duels. So if you guys want to see, uh, I don't know, Six Samurai versus what was good back then, like, um, I think Monarch Gravekeeper is probably good back in that day. Uh, I think this was a little bit before Fire Fist as well. I don't know. I'll, I'll find, <laughs> I'll find what exactly was good back then. Um, and we'll, we'll figure it out, but I think that'd be really cool. As far as the extra deck goes, we don't get too complicated. Uh, I am missing a few cards from the extra deck, so I'll let you know what are some of the options you can go ahead and play. Play Double Sheen, one Trishula, one Colossal Fighter, uh, one Barkeon, one Naturia Landois, Goyo Guardian, uh, Ally, of Just uh, Ally of Justice Catastor, Double Stardust Dragon, and then that's pretty much it. What I have for the extra deck It's only 10 cards. However, if you do want to go ahead and see what other cards may be available at that time, 
Mistworm is a great option. Uh, Black Rose Dragon. I cannot find mine for some reason. I have to look through all my all my BS <laughs> over there in that little box. Um, but yeah, so Black Rose Dragon is definitely a card. Chimera Tech Dragon is definitely a card that you can go ahead and play. It it comes up every now and then, so you might as well go ahead and play it. Um, let's see what some other cards that were. I right, said so Mistworm, Black Rose Dragon is really good. If you want to play a uh, Thirst Tardis Dragon, go for it <laughs> with the Starlight Road. Uh, if you want to get cheesy with it. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the six Samurai deck profile, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy taking a trip down memory lane with myself. Uh, this is a lot of fun to do. It's really, really, I guess, reigniting a, uh, a old flame that was for the, I guess, more old school Yu-Gi-Oh! So I definitely want to start doing some some legacy duels, see if I can find anything online. If not, uh, see if uh, Ford or Rob may be up to something. But if you guys are down to go ahead and see it, let me know in the comment section down below. Go ahead and leave a like on the video, guys, if you guys did enjoy, if you enjoy the new format or old format, format old formats, I want to say, back in the, in the day. Let me know what you guys prefer to play, and we'll see what we can go ahead and uh, make some something happen. But subscribe for more videos, guys, and I will go ahead and see y'all in the next one.